Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let Me Try. Today we got Oddworld New and Tasty. Oddworld New and Tasty is a remake of the uh, original Apes Odyssey which was launched back in 1997 if I'm not mistaken. But please do not get the wrong idea. This is not just the old game taken and upscaled or something like that, okay? This is a full rework from the ground up, alright? So everything you're gonna get is gonna be up to date with current standards. Oddworld, uh, new and tasty, is not exactly a new game per se. Uh, not only from the fact that the original was back in 1997, but this was initially launched on consoles I think about 7 or 8 months ago, alright? So... When PC gamers hear console port, they kinda gringe their teeth and raise their fists, alright? So first question we gotta answer is how good is the port? Uh, and I'm here to tell you guys you can let your fists down, alright? The port is good. So let's pop into settings and take a quick look, alright? You see I have my mouse here, everything is uh, operational by the mouse, there's no problem. We can go into graphics, have a look here, what do we got? What do we got? We got resolution, okay, I'm on full HD, you got full screen gamma, okay, you got uh, all the... Uh, texture quality, shadow quality, and realizing and uh, filtering over here, right? So you got a pretty decent set of options, all right, for the, um, for a puzzle platformer, all right? So if we go to controls, because this is usually the main issue with console ports, okay? The controls we got full, all right, guys, full keyboard and mouse support. I have tried it with the keyboard and mouse; it works absolutely smashing. I might even argue that is better with keyboard and mouse. Also, there's another thing I would like to point out. Uh, you gotta choose your input method before you gotta you go in the game and play. You see, right here you can choose your input method. The menus are fully operational on the fly with both keyboard and controller, alright? But once you start an actual game, you'll have to use the one you selected. I'm gonna select controller, alright? Now, on the console version, a lot of players complained uh, that the analog stick had a double purpose when uh, it came to moving, okay, if you pressed it a little bit your main character, okay, the character you control, Abe, would walk slowly, if you pressed it all the way he would run, this is fixed here, right, you got button to run, right, so you can just uh, click this here and those awkward situations when running into bombs or falling off cliffs and so on and so forth because you didn't press at the exact angle the analog stick will be gone, okay? You got aim sensitivity as well, so did I choose? Okay, I'm gonna choose controller, alright? Um, you also got co-op mode, you can play this in co-op. How does co-op work here? Uh, you get two controllers, you play, alright? When uh, one of you dies, the other one takes over. Alright, on its own controller. That's how it works. Vibration, I took this off because it's annoying the hell out of me. Uh, did I mention you can fully rebind your keys? You can fully rebind your keys if that's what you want, no problem at all. Alright, so that is the control options. I have seen zero issues uh, with, uh, with the port so far, except one. Cutscenes. Cutscenes for some reason start off very high FPS. At the start everything good, everything nice and suddenly drop and stick to 40 FPS. Again this is the case only in cutscenes. Alright guys, so only in cutscenes you get this problem. In the actual gameplay you have none of these issues. I'm running like 300, 400 frames, no problem, no uh, frames dropping, no screen tearing, no everything. But you do see the, that damn 40 frames a second in the cutscenes and uh, screen tearing. It's a small gripe to have, but then again I thought you guys should know about it. Uh, in the audio here you got master value, sound effects, music, voice, blah blah blah, subtitles. Alright, I played this for about an hour, not too much, alright. Uh, I'm going to show you the extras, you get extras either there, you got this movie player, here you can just uh, rerun the um, the cutscenes, again they start off brilliantly at 100 plus frames and then just drop to 40, screen tearing and awfulness happens, it kind of breaks the feeling, maybe uh, our kind dev could do something about that. Uh, leaderboards, okay, if timed levels, etc, etc, you guys know what leaderboards are, uh, what else should, game speed, <laughs> check this out guys, I don't know why this is here, but I like that it is. All right now, I'm gonna shut up and <laughs> listen to the main character. Damn him, damn him, damn him. Follow me, follow me. Wait, wait. You, 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 you. Follow you. <laughs> Again, I don't know why this is here. I really don't. Okay, these are the commands you can give your fellow Modox. Yeah, I think I think we're called Modox.
Goodbye. Alright, so let's start a new game. I'm gonna skip the horrible cutscenes. Alright guys, besides I don't really wanna... Okay, let's go normal. Our recommended choice, you got easy and hard as well, so we're gonna just go normal. I wanna... You see, yeah, at the start you got the uh, option of choosing either single player or co-op. Alright, we're gonna go single player. I wanna show you the starter levels because I feel these outline the uh, mechanics the best, alright, and what you can expect from the game, but as I said, let's skip this movie. It has a grim, dark kind of uh, sense of humor, guys, so it may not be for everyone, alright? Uh, basically, Abe is a worker in a power plant, alright? And he finds out that soon the bosses of said power plant will start using their workers as primary meat for their new product, alright? Alright, let's start here. Alright, so you see up on your top of the screen, yeah, press left to move, so we're gonna do that, A to jump, we're gonna jump up, grab the ledge, and if we pull on this lever, a door is gonna open, you enter doors with X, the big bad robots, if they catch you, they're just gonna shoot you on sight, it only takes like two or three bullets to kill you on normal, something like that, alright, so if I press here, uh, rupture forms. Okay, so this is like the map or something. What is that? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Pretty cool. All right, let's go back. That's called the directory, right down there. You see, I got mines. If I fall into them, you, you guys want? Nah, yeah, yeah, it just blow up, right? All right, jump. Okay, no. Yeah, maybe I should have activated that uh, button to run option. Huh? Maybe it wouldn't have been such a bad idea. I'm digging the uh, art style of Oddworld, you know, from what I've seen from before this game, I, uh, I liked it from the start. But again, this is a mixed bag, some of you might feel differently, it's a bit odd, you know, hence the name, Oddworld. You know, it's not your average run-the-mill platformer, that's for sure. And I, so far, I have enjoyed my time with it, alright? Uh, like I told you guys, it's a lot more cloak and dagger than you might think. I need to, this guy to go back to sleep, alright? So I need to stick around by pressing my left uh, control, left button on my controller. I can stick down here and just sneak past him and pull that lever so the uh, electricity uh, toggles off. The production value on this is just amazing from my point of view, right? Considering, again, the, uh, the price of the game, absolutely wonderful, absolutely wonderful. I don't know how good it looks on a console, but I can tell you on here, it looks great, and I'm currently running like 140 frames a second. Ooh, what happens if I pull this? Uh-oh. I didn't mean to do that, mate! Uh, I'm sorry! Look at that, employees 298, casualties 1 or 7. Now I think it's 7. <laughs> right, let's keep going. Oh, oh, oh no, he was sleeping and I woke him up. Yeah, I, I should have I should have just tip it toed around. No problem, I got checkpoint right here. I wonder if I... Yeah, yeah, I gotta be careful. So if I wake this guy up again, he's gonna shoot me. I'm gonna waste a bunch of more time. So you tip it toe around. Right? You can get past these guys. You can also kill them with grenades, with bombs. I'm gonna show that to you a little bit later. And pull the lever. And go back. Tick, 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 tick. You gotta have patience in this game, okay? From what I played after this level, you gotta have a lot of patience. If you don't, you know you don't have patience, then stay away from this game. It's just gonna brutally punish you. It's gonna punish you and punish you and punish you if you don't got the... Oh, okay, so it's casualty zero. And if I pull this, it turns to casualties one. <laughs> yeah, grim dark kind of sense of humor there, game. I can't say it's my favorite time type of sense of humor, but uh, I can definitely understand, right? So tip it toe around, use this elevator right here with the X button. Alright. Uh, we're here, let's go through this door. Uh, feeling deeper. Oh, first world problems, loading screen too quick, I can't read the tips. I'm even afraid to... Okay, there's just some of my guys. See, I can talk to them. Say hello. Hello all. And I can tell them to follow me, see? Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Walk this way! Tip it out, tip it out. SKP zero. Well, I'm gonna be the first one. Hey, hi, dude. Wanna come with me? Hey, dude. Come with me. Follow me. Now I can channel and I can open a portal for my guys. Hey! And there you see? SKPs four. I'm gonna push this directory here, see what it does. Alright, so it shows me the map again. Uh huh, uh huh. Okay, cool. 
I got it, I got it. Okay, so keep on going. Jump up, grab the ledge, and keep on running. I wonder if there's a bad guy over here. Mm hmm So there's a bad guy over there, and I see a platform and this lever, so I'm gonna wait for him to get on the black- Yeah, yeah, hey! Nice. No closer. Oh, no, it just opens it again and again. Alright, so as you can see, guys, your main character is extremely weak, extremely frail. He can't really fight, so this kind of makes the game more of a stealth platformer, right? You gotta trick your opponents, you gotta trick your enemies into dying, lead them into traps. Alright, that's the main thing. Because at one on one, you're just gonna get smushed. Alright, so I got a lever here, and a guy down there. What happens if I pull this lever? Okay, so that opens that. Uh, okay, and I got even an achievement for doing something. Hey, achievements. Internet's married badges, you can keep them, Steam. I wish they banned goddamn achievements. But that's beside the point. Alright, let's keep on going. And battle roll are here. Just duck and battle roll through. The smell of searing flesh was nothing like this. Ah, come on! Uh huh, so I see, the, you see there's the guy there. Now, if I, uh, if I run through light, he'll seal me, so I'm just gonna. Okay, hello, guy. Follow me, no? I gotta say hello first. Alright, follow me. Okay, he served as meat. Ah, he still got me. I thought I could use him as a shield, like a Modoc shield. Let's try to rush it. Hey! That worked fine. Feel like Rambo, but not really. Rambo could fight. This guy can't fight if his life depended on it. And guess what? It does! Right. When you see when you're in these smoke screens, the enemies cannot see you. Right. So I'm uh huh, I hear a little robot coming. Okay, he's coming. He cannot see me. He cannot see me. I'm gonna wait for him to turn around. And follow. No! I rushed. Again, patience. Lack of patience will cost you in this game. There are uh here, I gotta I gotta you gotta you can quick save guys, okay? I just did. See on my uh, lower right corner a little icon appeared. You can save. Oh, let me just rush this. All right, still alive. Good. You can quick save, and it's very recommended considering you die a lot and prepare to die a lot, guys. Okay. All right. But if you get just have a little bit of patience, you'll get through on scaves. All right. Here we go. Big battle robot coming. Go, oh, Mr. Robot. I'm just digging the art style. You know the amount of work that went into this. This is obvious. Oh no no no! I don't have time. I don't have time. I don't have time. I'm gonna go back. Let me let me throw a rock. Maybe this will throw him off. Go away, dude. Here, here's a rock. Go go chase a rock. Here, more rock. No, nope, nope. Run the, that doesn't do anything. I wonder if I get up. Okay, tippy tail, tippy tail. I'm faster on my tippy tails. Okay, I'm gonna wait for him to go away. All right, go away. And I'm gonna shine, and I'm gonna jump on this and jump and oh okay now I'm gonna wait for him to go back on that platform and I pull this lever, then he's gonna meet his doom, his demise. Get in there. Hey goodbye. Hello, Mr. Mada. Uh, Mr. Mada. Follow me. Look, freedom. Wait, I gotta activate this portal. Hey, there he goes to freedom. Follow me. No, I gotta say hello first. Why can't I just stay, follow me from the start? Uh oh, I can't activate the portal, the portal's gone. Okay, you're just gonna have to stay there, my man. Checkpoint. Alright, here they teach you how to disarm a bomb. Alright, so basically what you gotta do is get close. Nice, and, and you gotta press the X button when the thing turns turns green. If you touch it while it's red, you're gonna blow up. Hey! No, oh, I gotta get close. Alright, enough, enough, enough. Eh! Hey. Oh, yeah. Damn it. You gotta be quick. Gotta be quick on your toes. Not all bombs can be disarmed though. This specific one can, however. Let me try that again. Let's come on, let me, let me try that again. It, uh, You're enjoying this, aren't you? <laughs> you see, the bomb doesn't flicker in a single pattern. It's got two or three random patterns and you just gotta wait it out. Uh, okay, okay. I thought first time's a charm, but you can't jump over it, or can you? Oh, never mind. Come with me, bros! Bros. Come with me. Come on, ugly. Things you. 
Alright, so what do I need to do here? Jump on the ledge, okay. I jumped. Alright, so that's a like a meat grinder or something, so this stops it. Alright. I'm just gonna wait for that guy to get under the meat grinder, then I'm gonna grind him. GRIND! Hey, nice one. Hmm, I wonder, can I, can I... Hey dude, hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you come over here, bruh. Come over here, bruh. Bruh, follow me. Alright, 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 wait, wait over here, wait. Alright, now, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Alright, you stay there. Can I, uh... Can I, uh... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> alright, guys, let's keep on going. Alright, just jump through this. Uh -huh. Good. Checkpoint there. Casualties 5, rescue piece 5. So I killed 5 of my guys and I rescued 5. Not a very good uh, team player, am I now? Alright, so you activate this elevator and now you go to a different part of the level. You see no loading screens. I just love that. Doesn't break the feeling. Uh, actually, nothing breaks the feeling in this game except the uh, amazing cutscenes. Alright, we're down here now. Mm -hmm. Alright, so what happens if I go this way? Okay, so there's a sleeping robot over there, so I guess, uh, yeah, I gotta tip it toe. Tip it, tip it, tip it toe. Get up here. Tip it toe some more. What happens if I pull this over? Uh, can I trap him? I'm guessing, I'm guessing I can trap him. Come on, get in there. And trap! Hey, Boom! Smashing. Alright, what's here? Alright, press X button. Roger. Okay, so I need to get a grenade. Oh, I'm gonna show you guys the grenade. Okay, give me grenade. Give me grenade. Thank you. And now let's go up. Hold on. Okay, so you, I gotta, I gotta grab this, and now you can go up or down. Very nice, very nice. I'm enjoying this. All right. You see, right here, it even tells you on the hint over there, you gotta throw a grenade. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crouch, and now I'm gonna throw this grenade like this. Hey, and I got rid of the bombs there. Now I can come back here and just throw a grenade at this guy's face. Boom! Bye bye, bye bye now. Now I'm just fall down here. And I think I'm done with the first wait, crouch and. Uh. Yeah, and this is the first, uh, first, uh, introductory level, guys. Alright? Uh, if I remember correctly, now you get outside and all sorts of nastiness starts happening to you. So, to wrap it up. It's a big recommendation for me if you like stealth platformers, okay, if you like the, uh, the type of games where you gotta have patience and think out the puzzles, okay, where you wanna think out how you're gonna solve your puzzles, think out how you're gonna trick your opponents and so on and so forth, and Oddworld is definitely for you, new and tasty. However, if you like the type of puzzle platforms which are more upbeat, okay, which are more about super speed levels, more about killing opponents and getting extremely high combo score and so on and so forth, obviously you're not gonna get it here. The production value is off the chart, from my point of view, the price, absolutely worth it, 100%. Can't wait to get it on a Steam sale, but it honestly deserves its full price, no question about it. The port is fine, the game is absolutely 100% functional, it runs smooth, the only nitpick I have with it is the cutscenes and to be frank that's about it thank you for watching guys my name has been Lazar please like favorite share and subscribe if you enjoy the content and I will see you again soon